Hey guys, what is up? My name is Kyle, also known as XKyleCraft22, and today guys, I am going to basically do a tutorial on how I make my thumbnails on YouTube. I do have a lot of people asking me how do I make my thumbnails, and a lot of people, you know, think, uh, you know, a lot of people actually use Photoshop to do all that stuff, but those things actually cost a lot of money to get. Uh, some Photoshops are, you know, they're kind of expensive, and, you know, I, I actually do not use Photoshops, and I think my, uh, my actually thumbnails turn out pretty good. Here's like an example. Uh, let me just show you a couple thumbnails like we got. This is one of my newest thumbnails. Uh, put a couple other thumbnail pictures on the screen, but um, you know this is one of them. We just pull this one out. Um, let me just open this with Windows Photo Viewer. You can see this one. You know it turned out actually pretty pretty good for doing a. Um, this is actually one of my recent videos, but for just doing um, using this one program that's absolutely free. You guys can download it. Uh, make thumbnails. It's called Paint.net. I'll link you guys to the website. Uh, the website is right here. It's uh, it's uh, getpaint.net.com. Go on there, and you can see right here. This is uh, where you download it. You just click on this, and you download it from there. And it's absolutely free. You can also donate to the you know the owner, uh, the creators of the the website. Um, and it's really good. It's actually kind of like a mini Paint uh, Photoshop. It's not really hard to use. You got your layers down here your colors um, you know you can create new layers stuff like that I'm gonna give you a little tutorial on what I do and how to make uh, pictures and stuff like that thumbnails so say if you're doing a Minecraft PlayStation 3 Hunger Games um, basically the first thing you want to get is you want to get a picture and the YouTube the default uh, YouTube size is 1280 by 720 pictures so what I usually do is I get a nice Minecraft Hunger Games background if I'm doing a Hunger Games video or say if it's like Let's do think of idea. Let's think of a Call of Duty, uh, Call of Duty Hunger Games. Let's just think of that, all right? So we want to look up just like Minecraft Call of Duty or something like that, and you know you can see like different pictures of stuff like that, like backgrounds, all that stuff. It's just like a Minecraft Call of Duty 1280 by 720. You do want to get a picture like that or relatively close to that. Um, you want to get something like that. Uh, so say if you want to use uh. What are we gonna use? We want to get something Minecraft related. So say we we just want this picture as our background. Um, what is this? Uh, um, okay. Well, let's. I guess we'll use this one. And it is. Oh wait, crap. You gotta get one that's not like blurry, which is it's kind of. All right. All right. Let, let's just get like this one for example. This one's also twelve eighty by seven twenty. Like again, this is blurry. Um, we gotta get a good one. Like this one. This one's actually good. All right. So we get like this picture. We want to save it. You actually want to save it somewhere, so I'll save it in my pictures right here. Uh, save it like that, and uh, you can tell this one's not 1280 by 720, and that's not such a big deal. What you guys want to do is just go to File, um, Open, and then just open basically your picture. So, um, picture is right here. Just find out where you saved it. All right, so say if I want to use this as a background, and you, if, if it's too big, what you can do is go to Image, Resize, uh, make sure Maintain Aspect radio, rate, Ratio is unchecked, then you do 1280. And then pick uh, height is 720, and then you hit OK, and it basically resize the picture to the actual thumbnail size. You can also zoom out and stuff like that. It's too big. So say if we're doing a Call of Duty Hunger Games map, uh, what also can you look up as well is actually you can look up this if you want to get like Minecraft logos, you know Minecraft figures, stuff like that, like uh, pigs, cows, like you know you want to get something, something like uh, Hunger Games, something like that. So well, what I normally type is I type in like Minecraft. So if I want to get a Minecraft PS3 logo, I type in Minecraft PS3, uh, PNG. If I type, if you type in PNG, that means all the the files with like the backgrounds will be. It won't be like a white square background. It would just be like like this. You can see like this. If it has, if you click on the picture and it has like the checkerboard backgrounds, that means you're good. And I already have one of those. So what you can do is just import it from right here. Here's my logos and all this stuff. I got a lot of also uh, other stuff as well. Which I'm gonna need. Um, you know, I got a bunch of render stuff. I got a bunch of logos. So right here, this is a PS3 logo Minecraft, and you can see it's kind of. It's also I'll teach you how to remove this like white box and stuff as well. So you can like, drag it to wherever you want on the screen. Uh, the, again, this white box will go away. So say if you want it like right here, um, you know, you can just. I I normally take a guess where it's at, like where I should put the thumbnail and stuff. Uh, to get rid of this white box, what you do is just select the actual picture like you want to keep. And then right here, right next to the uh, paste button, it's crop the selection, hit that, and you guys can see it's like, it's pretty good. So you can zoom out. What I do is normally zoom out to make sure it's like even on both sides, because you can see that. Um, also, another thing is you can actually download a plugin. You guys can look up a tutorial on that. 
you can actually outline the object, which I think is really cool. So you pick on whatever picture, say if I want to outline the uh, outside of this uh, picture, say if I want to make it like white so it stands out a little more, you click on that, click your color, and from here you can adjust the strength, make it like cute, like big like that, or you can just, what I normally do is make a little shadow thing up there so you can change that. You can actually, you know, repeat the thing effect so it's like more greater. So, uh, you know, another thing you can do as well is uh, this is how you put text down. What I normally do, it makes this text look actually amazing. So what you do is you want to add a new layer. Uh, you want to go to text option. Um, basically type anything. So this one will be COD. Let's just do COD Hunger Games. Okay. Um, pick a font you want. Uh, probably for this, like I got Pokemon font and everything like that. Um, I mean, there's there's some pretty cool fonts. I mean, this font it looks pretty cool. Let me just switch it out. Um, like you want to get a font that's nice, big. Like you can make the font big, but uh, no, like try not to get a lot of spacing. I don't really. This, since I'm on my new computer, I don't really have that much uh, fonts. Excuse me. Let's just use the Pokemon font for now because it does look really cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Uh, Call of Duty Hungry Games. Okay. So you want to make it like that. All right, and then change the color so it stands out a lot. Let's just use a nice like yellow color. Um, and then what you want to do after that too? I mean, make sure it's like in the middle. Uh, you want to actually duplicate it. You want to duplicate layer like this. Then go to adjustments, brightness, and contrast. This part is actually not, it's really optional. This just makes it a little better. So you want to make it actually either darker or lighter. I'm going to make it darker in this case. And then what you want to do for that is actually go to your tools, go to gradient, uh, change this little color mode to transparent mode. Uh, you can see transparency mode. And then just basically highlight it so it's like, a, it's kind of like a mix between the two colors, which I think looks awesome. And you hit layer, merge layer down. And from there, if you want to, if you have the outline thing, you can just. Uh, do the outlines, which doesn't look, look, look like doesn't that look so cool though? Like actually, like it looks really like HD and really good quality. And then from that, you can just pretty much do whatever. Like um, I, I have like you can also look up other stuff. Like say if you want to get some like sunlight in it, uh, you can look up like for example, I have lens lens flare. Um, just look up lens flare PNG image, and if it has that uh, checkerboard background, then you're good to go. You can like you know put this in the back of your videos. You can go up and down the layers of what photo you want. You can put this in the background to make it look you know pretty sick. You can drag it across the whole background just to give it some give it some nice color like sun. Everything like that. You can also uh, what's cool is to say if you have like a background that you want like a nice spiral. Say if you want this, you want like a nice like lines of the spiral in your background. Uh, you can just get this all the way down or uh, like that. And then you hit this, you can actually lower the opacity. And basically you can just get it so it's just the lines and, uh, you know, it's, you can see, like, just the lines of the uh, thing, which looks actually really cool. And then also add other stuff, so, you know, you can, uh, you know, I, I have some renders I have made. Like, this one is one of my favorites. You can put this in. Uh, let's take a look at this. My, my nice Steve. I mean, it's not really good with this thumbnail, but you, you guys kind I, I guess you guys get the idea of it. And, you know, I, I'm, like, peeking over the edge of the t the text. <laughs> um, I like some other stuff, too. Like, I have this thing, actually. It's pretty cool. I'm not really sure where I got this from. But um, I also have, like, Blood Spider. I have, like, a black line, which is you can just put behind the text. Make it look a little better. I got some smoke as well. You know, you actually, you guys really get the idea of all this. Like, look at this. Look how awesome this is going to look. Okay. And then I just crop that out. And that that's really it. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I guess yeah, that, that's really it. There's nothing really else to explain. Uh, to save it though, what you're gonna do is go to File, Save As, and then you wanna change this thing. You don't save it as a Paint.net because you cannot, uh, you cannot change it. Um, uh, or you cannot upload it to YouTube. You have to pick either a JPEG file or a PNG. I rather pick the JPEG because that's what I mostly use, and I'm pretty sure this is the only one you can use actually. So I would pick that, and then what I do is make a folder for thumbnails like I usually do, just to keep everything organized. And then what you do is let me just let me just come on. Can I like I can't highlight the whole thing? All right, just name it like Call of Duty Hunger Games, and like that. There you go. And then when you on YouTube, you can upload it as a custom thumbnail. And that's it, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to smack that like button and subscribe for more Minecraft, uh, Minecraft news stuff like that. I like my background too.
it's awesome. Uh, also, um, I want your guys' opinion on something. If I, I, want, I really want your guys' opinion on what games I should do. So I got a lot of PC games. These are all my PC games. I have a lot. So I got Daisy. I got or like Arma 2, Audio Surf. Uh, probably not gonna do that because of copyright issues and stuff. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost is just like a little multiplayer thing, so I'm not sure if we're gonna play that either. Model Warfare 2, World at War. Uh, the ones that are yellow, uh, white are installed on my computer, by the way, so I can always install. Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, again, this is just a trial game. Gary's Mod, Half-Life 2, Killing Floor, Left 4 Dead 2, um, whatever that game is, I don't know. Sniper Elite V2, uh, Terraria Unturned, and Urban Trials, which, again, I'm probably not going to play that either, because uh, I don't know how I got that game. But, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want your guys' opinions on this. And, peace out. See ya.